we have just left our pointing job at the lower top and we have came to our next job, which is in Willie Bay. Oh, Dave Nicholas Construction. Go check him out. He's on social media, Facebook. I think he's on Instagram. Go and have a look. This is the job. We are building an extension of this property for Nick. And I am assuming the machine's still here. You can still see. We're still taking out the phones and assuming this building by going off this drone we're going to be around here so roughly in line with next door so we're going to come across here and we're going to shoot right down shoot down the side the machines being in here ground workers looks like they are doing a fantastic job we're going to come down here then we are going across the back of the store house here we're going to shoot this right across here, turn back to the house, we're going to start a fix to the house here. This all will be single story. Somewhere around here, we are going to have clad stone and a steel beam which is going to go into the house here. We will then, which is that, that steel beam, is going to take <coughs> this next story up there. This now step back so we'll have another steel and I'm sure there is a window down here we are going to have to have a correct steel across here that we can sit pad stone on and then there will be another steel which comes across and comes down to around here and that would be bolted I'm assuming to another steel which goes across into the house um, and that will take, these steels will take our next lift for this building which is going to look something like that there. So lots of steel work on this job which we, we aren't installing the steel uh, every time we come for um, Nick, David Nicholas Construction, we come, we just do just the brickwork and they, they have their own team, we'll just put our pad stones on for them, they'll place the steel in the right place where it wants to go to have a better drone somewhere so this window here will have the steel which is this steel beam here there is another steel which is going to go from this wall across into the house and this beam will be bolted to there now i'm just reading that very roughly i've now looked at the steels because we won't be putting them in so this is another really good job that we'll be doing for the this construction Take a look at the place here. You can see the kind of standards that these guys work with. Um, you know, they've left for the, for the day. You know, it's about five o'clock. They've left. It's nice. It's tidy. There's no rubbish around the place. And then when we come to start this, this will be full of concrete and there'll be nothing else here. Everything will be perfectly ready for us to just crack straight on. That's how we let it work. That is why we come back to work with this necklace. That is great. I mean, just look at the attention. You know, on a job that we will we would be managing. I would expect our lads to do exactly the same as this. Like safety on the main road. It's absolutely correct. So, on that note, we are going to get out of here. We've got a small job booked in. We are going back to the lower top. And uh, we've just left that customer today and they've asked us to do a small job in the backyard, so we will be doing that tomorrow. Come Tuesday, we'll be heading over here, the groundwork as will be finished, and we will be jumping on this build here, and we should be here for a few weeks before jumping on to another extension. Hello. We're back at South Shields at the lower top, where we did line pointing on this house there. Our customer has asked us to repoint this wall here. It was with um, render taking that off this morning while I've been viewing jobs so what we are doing today taking the render off we're done we're going to now grind this out same as what we did on the front we're going to grind this out we have a new tool and it's the max box so we're going to get that all set up on our Makita grinder we're going to get it plugged in to the holder and this out blasting this out and that will eliminate our some problems. It's going to save so much time tidying up, so it'll be a lot better 
for our health. We're still going to wear our PPE, our masks, our headphones, our glasses. Overall, this product is going to be a lifesaver. Get that set up, we'll grind this out, and once we've got it ground out, we're going to continue our normal procedure, which is pressure washing this wall down to get all of the dust out of the joints and hopefully it's going to remove any of this paint which is very powdery and um, if not we're going to get our stick brush we're going to give it a go all over like we did on the front and if that doesn't work we're going to try a few more methods to try to get this paint off this wall then we are going to repoint it and it will look brand new so stay tuned this is our new product from max vac and we are going to use this to grind out the mortar on this wall here I'm really excited to use this this is our new grinder as well it's a makita ga4530r we use this when we ground out the front of the property and this little bad boy is a right beast so what we are going to do this we've got the brush here we don't want to be Oh, you can. There's no other body is dripping. But if you're cutting this way, you're not going to get the full effect from the vacuum. So we want to be cutting towards the brush. And as we're cutting towards the brush, it's going to get the best benefit from the vacuum. Cut towards the brush, it's going to suck the majority of our dust through. Get this plugged in. We're going to get this plugged into our vacuum. We'll get cracking on this. We'll catch up with you in a little bit. Bye for now. We've just finished. Grinding out this wall, which was absolutely fantastic when we were using the dust shroud from Max Back. Now, we're going to get straight to it because getting late in the day, we need to clean this wall down ready for tomorrow. We are going to be using this K4 Karcher pressure washer. Just the bits of dust which is left inside of the joints, you cannot repoint inside of that, can you? You kind of brush it out. We just want everything out. Plus, We've got this fitting on the end of this partial pressure washer. That's the oscillating one, so it's quite rough. And it hopefully it takes some of this paint off. So go and try that and get straight in there. And we will catch you in a little bit. Bye for now. We're done. We ground this wall out using the Max Back uh, dust shroud, which was fantastic. It kept the dust right down um, and nice and clean. Then we've got the pressure washer out. We blasted the wall to get all of the dust out. Um, we tried our best to take this paint off the pressure washer. It looks a lot better. I'm really happy with it. We've cleaned up. Everywhere is nice and clean. We are ready now to point this. So in the morning, we'll go to South Tiny Building Supplies. We're collecting our bits and pieces that we need to do this. And we'll get it blasted in. And yes, that is it. We'll catch up with those tomorrow. Bye for now. Hello, come and have a look. See what we need up to. Start pointing a little bit here to spoil. We are gonna get on, we're gonna blast this through and hopefully we can get finished this today. So catch up in a little bit, bye for now.
Let's have a look, see what we've been doing. <laughs> Take five. Shot again, mate. Yeah. Max back. Duck shroud, duck shroud. One eternity later. Come and have a look. See what we've been doing in here for our customer. We have repointed this wall. We brung it back to life. It was covered in render that was falling off and it looked very bad. And we've fixed this wall and now it looks fantastic. It looks really nice. I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, what we did do, we obviously took off the render. We used our Max Vac um, dust shroud to remove the mortar, which was fantastic. All the dust just straight into the vacuum. Saves a lot of tidying up, saves a lot of health issues, and it was mint. Um, so we have done that 30 mil out, and we blasted it back in using our mortar guns that we got from Roughneck. Um, <coughs> just blast it in, and it goes right to the back of the joint, like a silicon gun. Uh, the finish we went for was like a rough finish, so we just used the wooden handle on our trowel, went over the joints. We, we left it for quite a while. I think the first time we jointed it, we, we put the mortar into about here, and then we went back and then started using the trowel. We wanted it really stiff before we went over with the handle. And yeah, it looks mint, really mint. The customer is over the moon with it. We're going to get them out in a second, show them. We've put everything back where it was when we came here. We've had a nice tidy up. Always leave the property in a better condition than it was when you came, which we've done. And we are leaving an awesome product. So I'm really pleased. We are going to go now. The following week on Tuesday, we are going to be starting a new project for Dave Nicholas Construction um, over in Whitley Bay, where we will be building a two-story extension. It's going to be a really interesting one to watch. So follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to us on YouTube because that whole build is going to be going on there. We're going to be capturing all of that. We are not doing the whole job. We are only doing the brickwork, steel work going in. The building upstairs is slightly set off to the downstairs. So there's going to be a lot of steel work going in, pad stones. Really interesting, really tricky build, but it's going to be really good. So stick around and I'll see you all there. I'll see you in the next one.